couple of weeks ago I did a video where I talked about the top five features I would most like to see in Adobe Captivate. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link to it right on the screen here. Uh, one of the commenters, um, I'll just call him JP for short because I'm not sure how you're going to pronounce his name. Um, JP said, agreed with your suggestion. Something I would really love to see is the ability to add layers. I use Articulate Storyline at work and consider, and considering many other Adobe products have the ability to allow to create layers, Photoshop, etc. I don't understand why Captivate doesn't have this useful feature. You know, and I agreed with them. I said, yeah, I would love to be able to import a PSD file. After I wrote that, I started thinking, wait a minute, something in my distant memory, not too distant, but distant enough, suggests that I think this was actually introduced somewhere around Captivate 6 or Captivate 7. I don't know exactly when it was, but there is actually a way that you can import a PSD file, and it will actually retain all the individual layers. So I have a blank project here, and I'm just going to show you it's really the simplest thing in the world. Uh, we go into file, the file drop down menu and go down to import. It's just not something I do every day so I completely forgot that this was available. You can import a Photoshop file. Now I've downloaded a sample PSD file from uh, PSD graphics and I'll show you that in just a second here. So we'll just click on Photoshop file and I'm going to navigate to my desktop because that's where I've happened to save it. And here it is. It's a little uh, graphic, an icon of a mixing board. And we'll just import the whole PSD and it will import it. And you can make some suggestions here. Like you can actually uh, Photoshop layer single. Uh, last document state, I guess it's however what was visible in the, the Photoshop file. And you can scale this according to stage size. So I'd recommend that if you've got a little, you know, 800 by 600 screen and you're importing a thousands of pixels by thousands of pixels uh, Photoshop file, um, you know, y you obviously will want to, uh, uh, you know, scale that down to um to your to your project file so here is actually all the layers you can see them as a preview here all the elements that make up this image there's a white background i'm not going to need that so i'm going to uncheck that and um i'll keep uh psd um uh, graphics, their logo, so you can see them. I'll also provide a link to their website as well. They've got some really great images that, that are available. So I'm just going to click on OK, and you'll see this thing load all the layers, essentially, as individual graphics. And it ends up loading it onto your stage. And let's just open up the... Uh, the timeline and you'll see there's all those images there so they're all there and I can of course turn things on and off as I see appropriate so for example I could take the PSD graphics logo you know which is great for me to let you know that they've got this great website but you know my learners may not want to see that so I can turn that off you know, there's a reflection on this image here. I can again turn that off. So I, I don't really have the full control of a full Photoshop file. But, you know, the interesting thing is that, you know, I can turn on and off the different layers. Um, if I go into the library, all of these will show up grouped together. So I can actually see the individual elements all grouped together within the library. And I can collapse that down. And everything is there. Um, uh, where is it? I just collapsed it. There it is. Sound mixer. And... Uh, and that's pretty much it. Like it, it doesn't give you as much control as obviously a full Photoshop file or a full uh, Photoshop application, 
but you know and obviously now I can group all of these together shrink them down resize them do all the things that I would normally do with graphics so uh, guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing, I currently uh, have a channel that you can subscribe to, and I'll give you the uh, button to do that right here. And uh, if you like this video, if this uh, answered uh, a question for you or helped you out in any way, don't forget to give me a thumbs up.